Those familiar with quantum mechanics have heard of the collapse of the wave function. However, some suggest that there is no collapse, and that quantum state reduction occurs due to an increase in entropy caused by a physical interaction with the measuring observer. But is there a way to collapse the wave function with no physical interaction whatsoever? Just such a thought experiment was proposed by the physicist Mauritius Renninger. The little-known Renninger negative result experiment creates a scenario in which an absence of measurement counts as an observation itself. To conceive of the experiment, consider a pair of detectors shaped as hemispherical shells which have been centered about a radioactive atom. Upon decay, the atom will release an alpha particle which will be detected by either one of the shells. However, if after a certain time the alpha particle is not detected by the right shell, then its location at the left shell is immediately known. Thus, the absence of measurement of one of the shells results in the collapse of the wave function of the alpha particle in the other. But what if it's collapsed by the left shell? One could argue that with respect to the right shell, both the left shell and the alpha particle are together in quantum superposition. However, with the simple modification of the original experiment, we can demonstrate that the wave function collapses without interaction from either shell. Let us expand the radius of the left shell. The atom is now left to decay and releases an alpha particle in a state of quantum superposition. After a brief time, the particle has passed the radius of the right shell, but has not yet touched the left shell. Because it has not touched the right shell in the expected time, its wave function collapses to only the range of the left shell. However, because the alpha particle has not yet been measured by the left shell, this collapse event has occurred without actually interacting with either shell. The Renninger negative result experiment belongs to a class of experiments involving interaction-free measurement. Another such thought experiment, the elitzer Weibmann bomb tester, can astonishingly determine the properties of an object by not looking at it. In 1994, Anton Zeilinger and three of his colleagues, Paul Quiet, Harold Weinfurther, and Thomas Herzog, conducted an equivalent experiment, verifying that physical interaction is not necessary for the reduction of the wave function. If you liked this video, subscribe! And don't forget to check out my novel, Alaris, The Lances of Light, on Amazon Kindle in the description below.